And now it's eight something, and oh, a lot of guests are here. Thank you, thank you. And uh, so we'll be registering because all these cars are from Auto Bavaria, and then everybody has to do the indemnity and fill up the forms basically to get the T-shirts. Yeah, everybody will be given one of these T-shirts. Let me show you. All right, and then. Uh, just look at, I see everybody's having breakfast, good having morning, a good time, everyone. having uh, breakfast. My right. name is Angelique uh, from Policy, um, and uh, welcome to join our drive today. Uh, if those who haven't registered, uh, let me continue to Oops. register the counter. I like your t-shirt, because we require everyone to wear the t-shirt on the drive. So, so we'll the, the breakfast counter the that we've uh, prepared. Thank you. <laughs> Lovely nasi lemak. So, right. Cheese platters, toast, and then of course a counter for omelette. And over here we have some lovely juice. Okay, lovely, lovely. So yeah, quick, simple breakfast, just nice. Yeah, and that's the five thousand square foot unit. Yeah, huge single floor five thousand is amazing. Just look at it as you enter here. Yeah, check out my other video. All right, let's continue the day. Everyone's getting ready. Loading up the luggages into the cars. Done with breakfast. Everything is on time. It's 8.25 now. And uh, yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely day. Later, I'm going to pop the roof down. And this is the camera and videography car. Yeah. Gonna have a lot of wind and dust in my face today, but it's all worth it. All right. And uh, really awesome for Auto Bavaria to partner up together with Bond Estates to provide the first of its kind experience. Tell me, before our collaboration, you know. Has anyone ever done this? Any developer ever done this? All right, so, yep. So, again, this fits perfectly in line with what Horizon does, all right? Matching uh, car owners, which are property owners anyway, okay? Yep. I just had a very interesting conversation with a participant just now, you know, he was like, it's my very first time driving an EV car. So don't be surprised, there are a lot of people out there who has never driven an EV car yet, ha haven't walked into a showroom. Then I told him, for daily cars, like four-door, really comfortable cars like these, right, there is absolutely no challenge uh, for ICE cars, right? EVs are quieter, way quieter, way smoother, way more refined and effortless, you know, turn it on and go in the morning, all right? And with EVs now hitting, you know, 500, 600 km, right? Of course, these are based on the know, WLTP or NEDC and all that, it doesn't matter, right? It's the fact that when they have reached reach a certain range of driving, hopefully, uh, which hopefully to include, you know, like high-speed driving and all that, right? When they have a realistic, uh, range of course now we are working towards there right more higher and higher range as evs begin to progress and reach that type of range where a human need to rest anyway that's that's it for especially for these type of cars you know family cars daily and all that right another perspective that i told the participant for an ice car to reach the performance levels of an EV then you will know it needs a huge engine 4 litre V8 bi turbo and the likes right 4 wheel drive and all that right the maintenance costs of an ICE car that has this level of performance is extremely high trust me on that because I own I own some of them and to have this sort of performance in an ICE car, maintenance cost is extremely high. Easily negate the cost of a battery replacement, presumably 12 years, 15 years down the road. All right? And moreover, 
very few people keep cars that long. All right, so there's there's no question. Uh, EVs are way cheaper to run, way better in everything, just about everything. The amount of components you need to replace in an ICE car, to which has this level of performance, is staggering. Is staggering, you know. Because those type of cars usually weigh a lot more, easily two ton, comparable, and then uh, the engines, the hoses, the cooling systems, the turbos, the fans, the pumps, and all that, right? High pressure pump and all that is is a lot of things. Yeah. Anyway, let's not talk about that today. Today is about Bon Chiara. Every single buyer, not every single buyer, those who RSVP for this event, there will be many, many more that we will be collaborating. But for those who RSVP, it will be a fantastic experience for them to live the EV lifestyle and to know that they buy into a property from an award-winning developer that curates and does these sort of experiences. All right, cheers. So we're starting the briefing. Beginning with the briefing. All right, all of us are heading into our cars now, putting the luggages. There are more over there, and that's our camera car. Yeah, convertibles are the best camera cars, and it's a good thing that BMW produces so many different types of cars. All right, and uh, we're happy coming out of Bangsar. We're gonna first head over to Mon Chiara to look at the construction site of Bon Chiara. Of course, we're just gonna pass by because 15 cars in the convoy is not easy at all to manage, all right? And uh, from here, we won't be turning out of here because of the traffic light. We will be turning up here so that we avoid traffic light so that we can roughly keep the group intact. Yeah. <laughs> Everything okay? I'm a fan of yours. Really? Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. You are? You are Mr. Shamsul. Shamsul. Nice meeting you, Shamsul. Part of the homework. I actually watched your video where you got your daughter to open the door. Oh, lovely, lovely. Thank you, thank you. I hope you enjoy your day today in the car. Yeah. All right, all right. You need a hand? You're going to put behind, right? Come on. Oh, yo, there's a wheel. Okay, okay. Yeah. Also in EV. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, wave, wave. Thank you, thank you. All right, what about drone? Okay, so fi fire it up. Okay, sorry, I'll wait for a while. A quick drone video. Yay. Done, huh? Super. All right. Finish, Emma. Wow, congratulations, team! Ah, 
There we have it. I'm here at uh, Bangi Golf Resort, and look at that. They have the Gentari DC chargers here. So everybody's here. The thing is, right, we've been driving very, very slowly because of the uh, morning traffic. Traffic was rather heavy. So everybody's electric charge, right, has only used up like, what, 10% probably? Uh, there aren't many chances to do heavy acceleration. And uh, yeah, everybody's here. And it seems like nobody needs a charge. But most people probably need a toilet run because of the slow pace that we're doing and because we're trying to drive in an entire group all together. Yeah. So, yep. What a sight to see so many IX traveling together on the road and in this beautiful place, Bangi Golf Resort. And here we have the Gentari Jom Charge EV charging hub. And now they are giving an explanation to everybody on how to use uh, DC chargers. Of course, there are many brands out there in the market. The station that we're currently stopping by is by Gentari. And uh, yep, quick explanation, quick understanding. Yeah, let me go from the other side. It should shows the closest charger to you. Alright? So identify where are the charger is. Let's see if it doesn't come out. That's the whole troop. There we are. Okay. <laughs> That's a good camera car as well. <laughs> yeah. Let's go and head off to Ayekuro. Alright, so we're now heading towards to Ayekuro, another 170 kilometers to Ayek Itam. So we're split into two groups, one group to go to Ayekuro to charge, another group to go to Ayek Itam to charge. But so far, because of the heavy traffic, so all the cars are pretty, pretty efficient. This type of traffic, this type of speed is perfect for EVs, for now at least, right? We don't know what the future might hold, but so far in the EV game, BMW, you can see they're all out. They are all out in this, okay? So whether it's combustion, whether it's EV, BMW is serious with their game, all right? 15 cars with a leader and sweeper. Yeah. I'm so happy to see the participants telling me that they've never actually driven EVs. I mean, a lot of them has, haven't driven EVs. They, 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 they don't know how they feel like, you know. So they are anxious and excited to know, you know, how is it like. Yeah. Alright, cheers. 
so we have arrived at Jentari charging air hitam there we go whole convoy of cars rolling here to charge of course we're in a convoy hence just like that Yes, everybody's charging. Sudah. Thank you. 50 kilowatt, 180 kilowatt, 180 kilowatt, 11, 11. Yeah. Sorry? Okay. Oh, it's charging. charging. Oh, now it's charging. Is white color yeah. charging? Yeah. Ah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, just no, now. No, it just started seconds ago. Just now it's orange. Amber yeah. light is not. Yeah. yeah. I think it's, uh, <laughs> it's basically a team war. Come on. Good car. Good car. <laughs> so this is 180 kilowatt. So you get 90, 90. Uh, no, it's okay. okay. I'm, I'm okay. Oh, the 11 kilowatt one. All right. 180 kilowatt as well. All right, that's cool. All right. So two cars just came out, they're done. And now uh, they just pop in, car 12 and car 10, they just popped in and uh, to charge. <laughs> All right. Okay, everybody has their first time. Yeah. <laughs> this one. <laughs> number three, number one. Cool. This one? Yeah, that's one. All right. So if you think about it, most people just stepped out, uh, buy an ice cream, go to the washroom, and uh, when they're back, for a little while, and it's done. Yeah, so in the near future, uh, yeah, it may look a little bit, but if you think about it, right, the petrol stations that are near KIA or the uh, natural gas in Bangsa, this also sometimes have queues, but this was really quick. They stopped just for a while, uh, 50 kilowatt, 180 kilowatt, pump and they're in and the next one just goes so that is i mean i mean after a long drive a little bit of rest is reasonable i would say <laughs>